like I just got some terrible video just trying to show how I put the lights on the back and uh, just how the show maven came packaged like in the box because I know that the silver ticket the screen itself is in a box I believe and the screen on this one is not in a box it's rolled up nicely you know in foam and it's got foam on the each end uh, my box came from New Jersey and I'm out here in New Mexico and it took about 10 or 12 days with FedEx to get to me and it went you know through snowstorms and everything else I'm sure because the weather was terrible but it, it did manage to get to me safely and uh, the one corner was wet but it, it made it out okay Started out with the projection screen with the Show Maven 100 inch. And that's turned out to be a pretty decent screen. If you're hesitant on buying the Show Maven, I, I would go ahead and buy it if you're on a budget and you're trying to build a budget cinema, like in your bedroom or even your, you know, apartment, living room, whatever. Or, you know. Um, it's definitely, you know, it's not a real velvet, I don't believe. It's just a black velour, but it does a really good job on uh, doing its job there with the light. And the screen all, you know, it's, I think it's a 1-1 one, one or something like that. So it's not particularly bright, but it's got a good viewing angle. And with the cheap projector, you know, it's, uh, it's a pretty good, pretty good combo. end for the most part you can see there I wish I could find my flashlight so I could get better lighting in here this corner was wet This corner here is wet. It looks like it's okay. What's this? Wow. sure it has the rods it looks like it has the rods I'm not sure if you can see that or not it's a GoPro Hero okay, so yeah, there's another page in the back
So what are these? Are the Govee lights? These what are the RGBIC lights? I basically bought two 32 foot uh, ones. So one was. So I started one out here. You can see here. I started one here, went up the wall, and then so one goes this way, and it goes to about here. And the second strip starts from the other set it starts over there but then so then I went the other way with this one all the way and it, it just went over that corner as well this this room's like 16 by 12 and then the second strips were way long you know with the 32 foot so I went down the wall with the excess so I started at the end wherever it began so it match up nicely and then I went down and I twisted it around like I was going around on television or something uh, just with one loop just to make it to the wall you know for each side there and then it continued on and it I think the other one ends right there so it's two 32 footers and then in the in the app you can control them uh, you know together or this one each this one comes with a remote too so yeah so i have the wall remote the hand remote and the app and with the app you can control it like all together and then on the television i used one uh, govi uh, it's ic as well it's just a 16 footer though around the 100 inch uh, show maven frame uh, projection screen frame from Amazon the show maven I think it was like 159 bucks for the show maven uh, frame and I mean that's a, a nice aluminum frame it's about $30 cheaper I guess than the hundred uh, inch um, silver ticket but they didn't have that one in the hundred inch anyways and the 106 inch was like 220 so 100 inches is what I needed with the door I've got this really dumb door right here to the bathroom this goes outside which I don't like that because it gets very dusty so anyways that was it I mean I used my old NHT Super 2's that were in a fire many 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 years ago and I rebuilt the, the boxes and they sound just as good as they ever did they still need to be painted they were sitting for about 15 years wrapped in saran wrap and I brought them out because years and years ago I had the Jolita SJ801 tube amp with the KT88 tubes and that was an awesome amp and then I had the Zindac MT03 I think it was with 12 AX7s I actually had that tube amp in my sailboat and I had that hooked up to a DAC to some like bookshelf speakers and my original setup was the NHT Super 2's or the STI 2.5's and then I had the Jolita with a Macintosh tuner and I had the clear audio record player with like Grotto headphones and all the grotto stuff that was low-end grotto stuff because that stuff was really expensive even back in the 2000 early 2000s and uh but i lost all my albums and all that stuff so I basically recently picked up uh what is it the d802c pro dac i mean i got it hooked it's pretty sweet because i got it hooked up to the speakers 30 so it goes 50 watts on eight ohms and these will go from four to eight ohms from 25 watts to 175 watts and the 50 watts drives them just fine really for my sound needs and uh bluetooth and i got it hooked up usb it has the big uh printer usb port on that one and i got this for like 67 bucks on amazon 50 percent off i think it's like 126 usually because it's an older AK chip I guess it sounds fine to me it actually sounds very pretty good doesn't have a lot of headroom because of the low uh, wattage but it's pretty pretty decent for being micro that's very very small and it's a uh, the sound modes are pretty bad but 
plus two on the bass, plus two on the treble on normal mode in optical. I have like a 15 foot optical cord going to the computer. So, you know, with the projector and the optical, I can run the speakers with the, the very low budget. I think I paid like $80 for the projector, 150 for the screen, 67 for that, DAC. I already had the speakers and the cables. I did spend some on longer cables just so I could bring stuff around here. I mean, I built the, um, you've seen my other videos, I've got the, I built the tent and I sold the tent, but I had some material left over from the tent and I still got my sewing machine. So I made a cover for the screen and I must say that the silver ticket screen is really nice. It's covered in velvet or it's more like a, yeah, a fake, you know, velour or whatever. It's a velour, but it's not velvet. And the screen is pretty good. It's got the springs and it's got the fiberglass rods like the silver ticket set up. So it's very, very, very similar. I'm sure the screen possibly on the silver ticket maybe is a tiny bit nicer. Maybe not. I don't know. But uh, with my cheap projector, which is a Towand. Let me grab it. This, this thing is like $159 on Amazon, but usually I think you can get it for like $100. I picked it up for like $75 bucks. Um, when it was on sale and I've got it mounted upside down on the ceiling and it's been pretty good for a cheap projector it's 1080 it's not supported it is a 1080 projector it seems like so the technology it just came out a couple months ago but uh, it's got a nice speaker too if you don't have like speakers I mean this this little the two little five watt speakers has some sound modes that are pretty good I mean so this thing is well worth a hundred bucks if you could find it for a hundred bucks I got the blue one because that's probably why I got it for so cheap and then uh, there's the lights the Govi RGB IC strip lights can't recommend them enough there's a little kit I put around the lights this one 6145 that's the one I put around the hundred inch and then the 6146 times two so it was about a hundred bucks, I guess, for all the lights. I think these were just like 23 bucks. Each one of these was like 37 bucks. So that's pretty good for what you get. See, I couldn't catch the stud right perfectly because, you know, got the fan there and all that. But not only that, but the, with the door over there, it's not centered in the room. So real important with these, especially with a cheaper projector that you get it centered for sure and as low as possible this mount is pretty <laughs> extendable but it I, I took a, a, a two by six to make it even further down and, uh, and like I said I got the the blue one I put a, I made a cover for it too but the blue is uh yeah whatever it's just the blue one you know it's like a turquoise it's ugly as, as sin but uh, it's a really good first projector, I think. Um, that's how I mounted it. Like, I took a what a I have like a 25 foot HDMI cable hooked up. The HDMI cable is going to my graphics card, which is uh, the 580. Whatever the 580 is like a million dollars right now on Amazon. I think I paid uh, 300 something for the graphics card. So 580. I can't remember what it is. It's Radian 580. 8 gigabytes. <sighs> this one's been going good. I've had it in my computer for, I don't know, maybe 7 months or so. So that one's... So that an HDMI cable's hooked up to that. And... Uh, so I got one, two, three monitors plus the projector. So I had to get um, a uh, display port adapter. That way you can have two HDMIs and a display adapter. I think it's three HDMIs actually. I'm not sure. Yeah, because I got one. No, I got a DVI. I got a DVI. So there's one DVI, two HDMIs, and then a, and then a display port adapter for uh, one of the monitors.
because that graphics card's only got two HDMI's and two Display Ports, and Display Ports are kind of useless to me, so I had to get the adapter. Um, trying to think what else. So I got the Govi lights, I got the 100 inch screen, got the projector, got the DAC, FX DAC uh, 802C Pro, kind of all in wonder thing, which is pretty good for a little setup in the bedroom. Uh, and then I got the Sega Flux Planetarium. Alright, well thanks for watching the video on the movie theater setup. Hope you learned something. Any questions, just ask me. I'll usually answer. Uh, can't say enough good things about the Gobi lights, so they're very nice. And, and this house is really dark in these rooms because it was built in the 50s. So these lights have really lightened it up. I did think about the 45 degree uh, aluminum channels you can put up on the corners there with the nice, uh, you know, plastic tinted to make it you know because I know that putting these up is a big no-no kind of like like that but they look good I think they look pretty good for what they do they're pretty advanced lights so they're you know five different brightnesses levels and all the colors in the world with all the modes I mean some of the modes are just crazy wake up sleep mode night mode dance mode party mode I mean oh my god I just like the yellow amber with the blue light around the TV. It does have a nice movie mode, uh, which I think it's like a, it's like a, yeah, it's like a cyan kind of color. Another nice thing about having, so it's three different kits, but I can, I can control each kit with one remote. So as long as I'm just kind of uh, facing at that remote or facing at this remote or facing at that remote, I can control them individually so i can have it real bright on the tv and real low on the walls or or just turn this wall off and just have this wall on you know because i don't always want this wall on. i had to put some wood in the corner over there to hide you know all the lights coming down the walls because they're right at eye level and they're really bright and like i said they could go way bright <sighs> like way bright but anyways thanks for watching thanks